Hi, I'm Mark Savage. Do you have binding or juddering brakes? Easy. All that I can. It'll immediately fix your problem. No, it doesn't work, does it? Okay, I'll start. Brakes. They save your life, okay? When they're not working, that's not this one. This is a simple overhaul of brakes. So if you've got binding brakes, you know they're getting hot when you're riding. You can feel them pulling against you. They're really juddery. They're just not working properly. This is the video for you. So, already got the brake off, we're gonna look at it now. Very, very few tools. Don't do what a lot of people do. Don't undo these ones, okay? That splits the caliper in half, and then you've got to mess around a lot. It is a simple 13 mil two here. Off they'll come. These brakes um, were binding on, so hence the video. It's just a simple overhaul. Take the pin out on this side, there'll be a little clip. This is for air rocks, but this is for generally for every single brake you'll do. The pin comes out and the brakes come off, okay? Now, what this was doing was getting very hot. I could feel them grinding in. While the brakes are in your hand, they'll be this way, okay? Get the screwdriver, push it in the middle and slowly twist back. It doesn't work, use some sort of maintenance spray. Don't get on the brakes, get on the back side of either of them. Spray a little bit of the um, WD or whatever you got there, push a screwdriver in the middle and slowly pivot back. Okay, they will go back unless they're completely jammed. When they're out, push back, just take these out. You have your caliper now and your calipers and the pistons should be pushed back. Clean it up, use a rag, push it all in there and then a bit of emery cloth. Get hold of your brake pads, if they're not new, get hold of these ones and rub them either side. Okay, nicely rub them. Get this in here and get your rag again and get this rag right in here and really scratch it and clean it up as best you can. Now you don't have to have copper grease, but I always use copper grease. Small little bit on your thumb, finger even and push it in there and push it in there. Don't go overboard with this, all right? Because then if you put wads in there, um, in the winter you're going to get road salt in there and it's going to cause a load of problems again. So when it's sparkly clean, then get your copper grease and push it on the sliders either side. The reason why I rub these down as well is because they can build up as well. And if you look at this rag, when I cleaned them, it was really black here. So what I did was just put a nice little bit of copper grease, and it's only a small smidgen basically on there. What these should be doing when in here is sliding up and down like that, literally falling through. Now when I first took this apart, they weren't, okay? Now they are, so I know this is no longer binding. The problem you can get is when it's binding, this gets bloody hot. This gets hot and causes a simple problem of warped disc. It's where this is on here, red hot. You've done your little journey very slowly because your brake's been binding on and you leave it. This here cools down where the brake pads are, doesn't. So then what you get is a slight warping. And then when you're braking, you can feel it doing this sort of business. Okay, this is doing it ever so slightly, not a failure, an advisory, because it hasn't warped the disc that terribly. But sometimes you have to change disc as well which is a bit of a bugger. So, when you first notice it, it's simple maintenance. And I mean, you're talking a hammer to cut the cop in out, 13 mil, cut the screwdrivers, plier, a bit of emery cloth, and some grease and spray. You know, it's, it's not a mega amount of stuff. Most of this should be in your dad's garage or your garage, and a rag. Remember, as I said, clean them in here, rub it, get it on a screwdriver, and really ram it in, and then scratch it up as best you can, wipe it clean, in goes the old copper grease, round the actual pistons as well, and then it's all back together again, push it in. Now, because you've pushed them back, don't worry about the reservoir, that would be room in there, okay? You haven't got to mess around with your brake fluid or anything like that. If they are completely jammed and you cannot get them back, occasionally that will happen where a bike really has been left for a very long time. If they are jammed, then it's, you know, well of pain, you've got to take the nipple off. Um, you might get away with one squeeze to loosen them up. Otherwise, you've got to take it off and completely overhaul them. This was very lucky. I just literally was managed to push it back. I use a bigger screwdriver. Be careful when you're doing this not to ram it in screwdriver in you. You should have a, a room of a disc. So a nice big screwdriver and gently rock back and forth. If they don't move straight away, then get WD at the back of it, not on the pads. Don't put anything on the pads or the disc. On the back and then gently wobble. This one's straight back, lovely. They're both flush and I put copper grease everywhere. It is that simple, guys. I mean, yep, I can do it in front of air, put it all back together, but it's a longer video than it needs to be. Um, to be honest with you, it's called a short bite. It wasn't, but it is now. 
clean up any excess on the disc, the pad here, you know, just scrape it off basically. That is road salt, that is just crap on the road, just clean it off. I mean, the day you don't need it on there. Back to grease again, and look, you can see that now. This was honestly binding there before. Look how nice that is. Now, that's moving up and down lovely. Think when you put the brake on, it goes back and forth lovely as well. There's nothing stopping it, and it will return. Simple as that, guys. If that works, job done. If it doesn't and they're stuck, then I've got other videos on here to say how to take them out. And as I said, nipple off, then you've got to start bleeding and we were doing it as well. This one's done quite a few miles, but I've already checked the brake fluid. It's lovely and clean. If it's not, then it is a case of bleeding the brakes. Different sort of job, different video. Anyway, guys, please check out my other videos on this little Airbox Speed Fights and all the other ones on the four links that are around here. Take care of yourself, guys. Remember, nice, easy. Be lovely, wouldn't it? Just a spray and everything. Guys, like, subscribe, thank you very much. Ta-da, guys.